Hey guys, welcome back to Outward. So we're here where we can get our mana at the core of the Conflux Mountain. And I did do a little research, which I, like I said, I don't like to do, but they're giving us a choice that is going to be irreversible. And it's going to affect our character for the rest of the game. So needed to do a little bit of research in the player community and see what other folks have done and what they think is best. So after looking at a few comments, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two points. Uh, the reason being is this. With two points, I think we can maintain a melee build. And also, there's a trainer back in town, the Kazite trainer, who I'm fairly sure from the comments and from what I remember can sell us another stat upgrade for 500 silver that actually gives us more health, stamina, and mana, I think. And so, yeah, I'm going to take two points. There we go. Uh, we finally unlocked our mana. One of the first things I said I wanted to do when I started playing the game, so it feels really good to see that blue circle down there. Uh, now, oh, and we can come back anytime and do more. So if we get really good with magic... Listen to me. Ooh, he grabbed us there. Well, he didn't grab us, but he totally stopped us and made us talk to him. Now the mana flows through your veins. I can teach you a new spell to welcome you as a mage. Teach me how to reave souls. Oh, teach me how to cast the fire. So I think the reaving souls is going to be how we get our mana back. But I really want to uh, learn some fire magic. Sigil of fire has been learned. Okay. Welcome, mage. May your talent for magic only grow stronger. If you want a simple spell, I can teach you the flamethrower spell for the price of 50 silvers. You only need to hold a lantern or a torch. And you'll be ready to use it, okay? Yeah. Listen to me. Smart choice. Rather than using spark to detonate the air, try pushing the air inside your lantern. It will unleash a torrent of flames on any who dare cross you. Okay. Let's perhaps practice some of this madness. So we need our sigil of fire. And we will have a spark and flamethrower. Let's put flamethrower on X. Let's put spark on B. And let's reassign our bandages over here. Okay. Now. Do we know how much these things cost? Seven mana for the sigil. Fifteen for the Flamethrower requires torture lantern, shoots fire from the torture lantern, which also inflicts burning status effect. This skill lowers the durability of the torture lantern used. We'll have to keep that in mind. Speaking of lanterns. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get used to this here. Let's cast, let's throw down our... Okay, I don't really know what we've done. We've cast Spark in the air. No comp Oh, I need to have it in my hand, perhaps? Or does it just need to be lit? Hmm. Am I just going to need to make a torch or should I? Okay. So I need to be holding that. Um, and that makes the troglodyte staff not really a good option. We need a one hander, right? Some kind of spell blade. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's just swell. And now can I do that? Oh, I don't need to be in the sigil to do that. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Alright, uh, so I should probably rest to get my mana back and see how that works. I'm pretty excited about this flamethrower. I'm not sure what the spark did, if it needed, if, it, if we had had an enemy, if using spark in the sigil would have been really useful to us or not. We'll have to test that out if we can next time we set up for a combat. And I might want to talk to some of these other trainers here as well while we're here but let's sleep not for too long because they said something about a deteriorating effect of sleep on our overall mana which is an interesting mechanic but we'll have to keep an eye on it yeah I see that it looks like it's burned a little bit of our mana is hmm magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. I could teach you to gain mastery over cold a boon of cold will allow you to resist cold and frost, and increases the power of your own ice magic. I want to learn all this stuff, obviously, but we have finite resources right now. I have some things to sell. But I also have things I need. Like a one-hander. Some kind of one-handed weapon. I might learn that just because the frost resists if it gets to winter again would be very useful. Welcome. I am a watcher of the ley line. Mana is the energy that throws through all things. If you wish to recharge your reserve, you can rest okay. to recharge so mana. He doesn't have Let anything to teach us. I don't recall. Perfect. No, he has nothing to teach us. So I might learn the... It's a shame that we couldn't learn to reave souls and get the flamethrower. Obviously, that might be overpowered, but I'm pretty sure the soul reave was the way we could recover our mana from defeated enemies, which obviously sounds very interesting. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Oh, look at this. Magister's staff. Like, yeah, that's cool. However, it's a thousand gold and it's not a one-hander. So I guess it depends on what kind of magic you're using. Chakram spells are necessary to use this offhand weapon. Huh. A lot of things I don't know about having a proper mage setup, obviously, but I don't know if there is necessarily a proper setup. That's a great hammer. We could sell her that. Seller of the shield. I'm going to keep this uh, troglodyte staff, but I'll sell the mushroom halberd. The pouch bonus here was optimum, but we have a lot of different resistances to cold and fire and poison on the arcane robe, and obviously it's giving us our reduced mana cost. Has some cold weather defense, so I think I'm gonna go with this for a while. Sell that. I know you guys are probably like, ah, don't do that. It's fine because we have this uh, bigger bag now. Get rid of those before they break. Get rid of that. And selling some of the stuff will make me feel better about buying the skills that we can buy here. I think that's it. Hey, you don't happen to sell mining picks, do you? No. Oh, uh, let's see. Already known. Firestone teaches you how to craft a consumable item. We might want to grab some of these. Already known. Astral Potion might be how we get our ma make mana potions. Let's grab that.
She actually has. Oh yes, it is. So that's good. We can learn what we need now to have mana potions. Well, the first thing we would need would be alchemy, right? Alchemy, our alchemy kit out. Uh, let's see, trying to figure out what we want to do from here. I guess we could just go back to Sierzo for now. Might not be a bad idea since we can get close. I am going to go down and learn that frost resistance if that's all that he can teach us, I think. We've milked this guy up here for everything he's worth. Welcome never and if you wish to learn the most complex Oh, of here spells, we go. Seek out rune magic. Rune magic and berg. And we did see a mage trainer there and I remember talking about how, you know, if we had our mana, that would be a place to be. I remember where that NPC is actually. Only by properly combining them will you unlock their power. They are spells that require experimentation, but are flexible once you understand them. Rune magic. Okay, well that seems interesting and different, I guess, than the elemental magic that we're currently using. We are thirsty. Let's rectify that. I do have to change something here. Oops, not that. I need to have a quick way to get my torch out, I guess. Let's just put that one there. Let's move it to our pocket. Oh, we're hungry. Can definitely take care of that. Magic is the weapon of a patient. Listen to me. So to cast the boon of cold, you pull in any source of cold around you. <laughs> and that's how you generate the boon. It may be helpful to ward off the winter cold, but it's no substitute for warm clothes and a campfire. Well, I hope it is something that can help us. We paid 50 silver for it. Um, and so that just goes in my skills, I assume. Grants the cool boon, which increases your frost damage and frost resistance. It also increases your protection from hot to hot weather. Oh. Certain skills require this boon to be active. Okay. What else? Magic is the weapon of a patient warrior. All right, nothing else to teach us. I feel like we've investigated everything. Yeah, we can come back if we need to. But I think we're good. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Oh, we just tell her we're leaving, but then that, that doesn't trigger anything. <laughs> there we go. And she said this would put us out on a beach near Sierzo. What I'm interested in... Is if we can go back that way, but apparently not. Put us on a beach somewhere. Uh, we're looking northwest at a fort. Where did it put us? There's the mountain. Do 
Yeah, I'm fairly certain that we're down here. <laughs> Which is not really near Sierzo. But that's cool. We could go check out the ancient ruins. If we are here, they will be directly east. I don't have much interest in the fortress at the moment. And of course, getting east here is not going to be easy. I'm hoping we come across something we could try out our spells on. A hyena or pearl bird would do nicely. We are going to have to circle all the way around. It might have been better for us to leave a different way. And if we're heading northwest, we're probably, yeah, there's no way to get around. We've already, we've already ran into that, so of not being able to easily go around. We'd have to have come from this way to get there, so we are just going to be headed back to the northwest to eventually get home, so I might cut some of that walking out. However, let's see if we can't try some of our new skills. Oh, great. Well, we'll fight whoever wins. The Pearl Bird. That doesn't seem good. Now, wait. That's a black one, isn't it? I don't have any interest in that one. I've been instantly pecked to death by them. No thanks. Not today. Feeling too triumphant to get killed by a uh, black pearl bird. Want to live in this moment of success for just a little bit longer. Before something random takes us out. Yeah, they didn't really do me any favors where they let me out. I, not even anything interesting that we can get to besides that fortress, which was probably just going to be walking into imprisonment. One thing I did want to find was that original cave we had gone into for the mushroom shield. I had thought... I don't have the gems anyway, so we'll, we won't do that. There were some locked doors in one of the early dungeons, and a couple of gems of sapphire and an aquamarine, I thought, might get us in there. And I believe this was the... This was the cave right here. And we could check that out and see if that's the case. Okay, well that didn't uh, do everything I had hoped. But these guys seem a little tough. Yeah. No. Let's just rethink that for a second. I swear we've been in here. Where are my bandages? I guess it doesn't matter where they are. And we're dead. <laughs> well, we knew it couldn't last. 
Literally bled to death. Oh, look at this. Rescued by our favorite, favorite Immaculate. Of course, he's not here. He's given us all the cool stuff he's probably ever going to give us. Oh, hey, a steel shield. That's cool. Actually. Yep, nowhere to be found, but thanks, buddy. Whether or not this gets us any closer, I, I doubt it. And it really doesn't need to. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see, any butterflies around? Nope. No, nah, I think we're afflicted with poison. Nope. Maybe a hex? I could just check. Possessed. Okay. Oh, we got an item for that. Did nothing. Okay, we have no way to deal with that. I take it back. Uh, let's see if some rest is going to help us at all with our mana situation. We blew a lot of mana on that guy. Uh, kind of hurt him, but it was just too close quarters, I think, for that to be effective. And I didn't expect them to be as buff as they were because we had been there before. I had thought. All right, we got most of our mana back, so that's good. Grabbed our tent back this time. Here we go. This will be a much uh, better test. I can't tell if that's hitting him or not. Well, that did something. It's definitely going to take a lot of getting used to. Throwing down this sigil first might be ideal because that spark just exploded him. That's what we need. And then we're probably resting too much, but I'd like to hopefully experiment some more with the spells, so have to get our mana back. We can see now that that's really not a lot of mana, but we'll try to get some more once we have the 500 silver to spend. Could help. Though I think I will take a little break here. And when we come back, we'll make our way back to Sierzo, try out our spells some more, and we'll see if we can afford the stat boost from the Kazite trainer if it's available. So thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, I really appreciate the support. Take care and wish me luck.